That's a cool building. It is, isn't it? Look, Titanic ship. Oh, look. What? Look. I mean, it's very, very tiny. No, magic. Look, what does that sign say, girls? So where are we going? Shopping. <laughs> Damn you, Madison. So, girls, have you worked it out yet? You haven't worked it out, Madison. We've driven in to a underground car park that says welcome to titanic belfast scary <laughs> scary have you worked out where we're going today scary scary we're going to madison she's scared <laughs> <laughs> we're going to the titanic museum <laughs> madison <laughs> Then hit them on the slabs of cast iron and hammer them curved. 
it was the end work. You had to bend there more than you needed, because the frames could even bite a little on it too. One of the four men told me years ago. He put it in a hole in the plate of the whole rock. There were two of us from the other side of the plate that hold her up. I had to hover her up until it filled the hole before it turned all red. The double bottom. That's a wee space we called the tanks made up of steel huh? plates. The rest of the river squad all had to fit into that gap. Don't worry. One of the four men would check each other with a special hammer. If it made a ringing sound, the copter got back. We chased it out after work. I get scared walking down in that double bottom. You only had candles for light. And the constant hammering against the shell plates. You could hear it all over Belfast. Some of those boys ended up stone deaf, so they did. We were high 31 bob a week, the heater boy and catcher got 16 bob, but we all worked the same 54 hours. The upper deck was steel too, and part of the strength of the ship. There's no straight lines on the ship, and when you look down the lower deck, you could see the sheer of the hull, and stop to reflection at sea. The frame had to be strong enough to take the runner turning in heavy seas. You'd have all these timbers and guy wires to steady the frame, and men scurrying around like ants underneath. When we came to launch day, I was torn between pride and fear. The Stanley weights were coated in tallow, train oil, and soft soap. So the ship would slide when they shifted her weight off the blocks. That was the most dangerous part. And the shipwrights were not going to weigh the last props. They were under compression, you see, and the sliding waves would be released by the hydraulic trigger. So this is the museum, yeah, and that's where Titanic was built, where it stood right now. So come, come here, come in there. How amazing is it to think that the Titanic left from here and went and actually sailed down there? Woof. Transforming the massive hull into a sumptuously appointed liner. Yeah, second class, I can say. I don't know, we were on the Titanic right? Or didn't they? I don't know. I guess because it's. Yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? First class. Very different. Yeah. That is. 
this, the one Danny's got at home is probably... So yours is probably a little bit older? Mm, don't matter. Yeah, maybe. Prices a minute ago. There you go. Look, look how many people are on. Dining room. Oh man, well. Or I think to leave the Titanic was number 13. Now there was a 15, but we had trouble with our damage. They were frozen, and I'll tell you, I thought we were just going to be dumped in the water. We had one of the worst times for that boat to be lowered. And I had the baby, and the baby was crying all night. So finally, we touched the water, and we were rowing. There was a light in the distance, and the captain said, Now, men, row to that light, empty your ship, come back and pick up more passengers. Our men rode and rode, but that light was not, no nearer, not, or more distinct, or distinct. And they all, all call it the mysterious light. Oh, I knew I was going to drown. I knew that my days were numbered. I felt that way. I really was spread us out to death. Being a Catholic, there are three priests on board. And I'd been to confession. There'd been a holy communion. And I thought, well, God is good. He's going to take me into the state of grace. That was my feeling. Well, I learned to think with God all things are possible. You can't build a ship that's unsinkable.
restaurant in New York. This is like the most, um, like the, the biggest, best one. And obviously where the Titanic was built, so how, how more amazing is that? Only remaining white star light ship in existence. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like a museum on it of its own now. RS 
Titanic's little sister and the only surviving white star line ship in the world. This was first class. First class. And where the floor goes from this. And yeah. I'm talking sad dear token. When they win the floor, you'll see just down there, that's second class. And then we've got the big floor. Really? Mm -hmm. So you would rather join him. Yeah, in a minute. Would you want it? So this is second class. Yeah, this is where the floor. So that's the original floor, I yeah. would imagine. Yeah. They're pretty. Sleeping on that tiny bit of foam. It's not foam, is it? Well, foam. Thank you. Yeah. Right. So I think. Mr. Payne's, Mr. Payne's office. So this is Thomas Andrews' office. How amazing is that?
So whose room is this? This is the Lord Pierre's office. Whoever Mr. Pierre was, he had a very big office. The boardroom. Going in the shop. Some nice t-shirts. They've got they got to 3XL in your size. 26 quid though. Yeah. Oh you found a teddy me. Of course you have. Yeah. Irish black butter. Mm -hmm. Love you. 